I don't know about you, but over the course of these past two years, it's been a common complaint of mine, all the online meetings and, and activities that, that have taken place um, because of the pandemic. And so even though I can sometimes complain about it, um, there's some wonderful things that are going on because of our technology. And I just want to bring to light one. Um, yesterday, I was invited by some friends of mine in Mexico. They belong to the St. Andrew School of Evangelization there. And over the, the past year, they've been evangelizing, working with different teams throughout the continent of Africa, uh, developing the first courses and, and some, some training information. And so last Sunday was their first Congress. It was, it was time to get all the leaders together in, in Africa and have an afternoon for them, an afternoon of um, some talks. And so I was very honored that, that I was one of the speakers. And my theme was the, the, the joy of sharing the gospel. But what an interesting and powerful experience it was to be able from here, from the seat in which I'm sitting in my office, um, to be able to, to share some thoughts and reflections of, of the joy of sharing the gospel, the joy of evangelization um, with our brothers and sisters that are being trained to do so in, in the different countries and the different churches, uh, church communities in, in Africa. Um, I'm not quite sure how many people there were because I couldn't see everybody because of my PowerPoint presentation. But um, but it was just 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 amazing of of the fruits that 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 they're involved in, and one of the amazing aspects of evangelization that's going on now, I mean, with an experience yesterday, the three speakers, one was a woman from Mexico, myself here from the United States, and and a lay man from Singapore, and then we were sharing and um, you know, supporting our brothers and sisters in the church in Africa. And so evangelization has this powerful um, force of the Spirit of the Holy Spirit that that brings people, the diverse body of Christ, together. And I've seen that in the efforts of here in our parish in evangelization over the years with the St. Andrew School of Evangelization that, that, that we have here. And um, and also what's currently happening happening in Alpha. It, it, and it has the, the, the power to bring all of our diversity, whether it's our, our, our different backgrounds, different races, um, and ages, that, that when we come together to, to focus in on, on the charisma, the core of our, our belief as, as disciples of Christ, it necessarily brings us together. So I just want to continue to encourage each and every one of us to, to engage more and more as we can, um, whether it be in Alpha or, or St. Andrew's School or or all the different forms that we have of evangelizing because it breaks down barriers and it truly makes us into that that one body of Christ. This coming Wednesday we begin the season of Lent and so I encourage us to to enter into this this holy season uh, in a prayerful way entering into our, our, our penances and our fastings um, and just uh, kind of a heads up what I would like to do in, in my preaching over the course of Lent is really focus in on the very powerful story from the parable in Luke 15, that of the prodigal son. We get that on the fourth Sunday of Lent. That's the uh, 27th of this month. But I'd like to do is throughout the, the Sundays of Lent with the given um, scripture readings that we have is to kind of to highlight some of the different aspects, the different stages of that beautiful journey of reconciliation. So I like to call it Return to our Father's house, the joy of forgiveness. And so hopefully that can, for all of us, I know it's for me, it can be very helpful and fruitful to develop that, that beautiful, beautiful parable of Jesus that, that speaks of the, the, the vastness, the power of his mercy and the great joy that, that we have in, in being forgiven and given the grace to not only accept that forgiveness, but to forgive others. And so I just want to invite all of us into that journey of, of reconciliation. And so if you get a chance um, in the near future to, to, to reflect, to read and to reflect upon um, that powerful chapter from St. Luke's Gospel, uh, Luke 15. You know, and that would be just a, just a wonderful way to enter into this holy season, preparing ourselves 
to receive that gift of God's mercy. May God bless you.